Thanks for joining us at Right on Replicas, where we bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the Chip Boost Design 2015 Corvette Stingray Kit. It's 125 scale kit from Ravel, number 85-4397. It's a skill level 3 kit for the intermediate builder, and this is a new release with no previous versions of this uh, available. The build itself is just above a snap kit and more of an entry level glue kit. You get 57 parts molded in gray and black with some chrome and the tires are rubber and it has metal axles. The, get, the glass is uh, clear and clear red and, the, and has black window surrounds already pre-printed. The body comes molded in a silver metallic with a black upper and has water slide decals. This kit was designed to be a tweener, that's right, a transition kit aimed at moving the novice builder into glue kits. It's a perfect tweener and looks great on the shelf when you're done. The uh, instruction sheet is a fold out page design unlike the typical book format that Ravel usually has and it's easy to follow. The overall dimensions are 6 and 5, 15 16 inches in length, 3 and 5 16 inches in width and one and seven eighths inches in height. Here are the decals for this kit. As you can see, they're very colorful and the registry is good. I strongly recommend using some decal setting solution to make it fit those contours. But as always, use the manufacturer's safety and use guidelines when using any of the products mentioned here in the review for your own protection. For most of the construction, I use Model Master liquid cement and sometimes a slow setting tube glue but other adhesives are used too for strength like super glue and white glue for clear parts. Mostly the paints are Tamiya acrylic bottle paints that are shot through an airbrush or rattle can paints that can be used for things like primers. Construction begins with the motor and we can assemble par parts of that before paint. So put together the block, the heads, the oil pan, the front and the belts and paint this unit flat black. Highlight the oil filter in orange and the alternator is aluminum starter is black and the pulleys are steel. Then paint the manifolds steel colored too. Install the exhaust manifolds on their respective sides both the left and the right side. For strength it's a good idea to go ahead and assemble the chassis pan with these components prior to paint. Then give it an overall flat black finish. Now to break it up with some detail paint the exhaust pipe steel with copper catalytic converters and a black cover and then highlight the transmission and mufflers with aluminum. Install the exhaust and the motor. In keeping with the simplicity of construction for this build, I noticed that the interior is left black and it has the perfect texture and color and sheen, so I didn't paint that. So go ahead and assemble the seats. To make the interior look more authentic, I decided to carpet my model. So I painted the bottom of it with the interior pan uh, with some thin down white glue and then sprinkled some craft flocking on it in black that I had found at a craft store. But you can buy this at online hobby shops too. Just shake off the excess, let it dry and you've got a carpeted floor in your model car. To add some accent to the interior, I also went to the internet, found some emblems and printed them out on paper, on some uh, decal paper and to make uh, custom floor mats for my car. So just using a color printer, print them out on plain paper, uh, cut them out and apply them uh, to the floorboards with some white glue. Install the interior side panels and the seats and add the shifter to the console. Now we'll move to the dashboard and unfortunately there are no decals supplied for it. So I went to my parts box from other kits and just adapted some decals to the car. But you can also do what we did with the floor mats. Go to the internet and print them out using a color printer. Then put a piece of clear gloss cellophane tape over the top and some white glue to apply them to the dashboard. Now glue the steering wheel to the column and then install the dashboard into the tub in the slots provided. Locate the contact points for glue and install the interior pan to the chassis. Assemble the intake vent and paint that and the engine top flat black. 
I like the engine top with some gun metal on the intake portion and install the engine top and the vent. For details, um, you can paint the underhood components and highlight them as you see fit. Now we move to the tires and note that there is a smaller set of tires for the front wheels. And while it's not very noticeable, they're different sizes. So note the direction of the tires when inserting them onto the rims and follow the arrows here for the directionality. For realism, use some fine sandpaper and then roll the tire tread on the paper to rough up the tread surface, giving the tire a used worn look. Then install the tires onto the rims. Get out the brake rotors and axles and paint the rotors aluminum with a flat black hub. The calipers are left unpainted as black. Now install the brakes onto the chassis with the calipers facing towards the middle of the car. Then add the metal axles. Using the directional orientation reference earlier, install the tires onto the proper locations by pressing them into each axle. At this point, we'll have a rolling chassis for completion of the model kit. It's time to decal this car, and so using plenty of warm water and some of that setting solution that we mentioned, place the longest ones in first and align them for a good look. Now gather these parts for installation, and I put a little window tinting on my windows just for emphasis, but that's totally up to you. It's a smoke colored uh, paint from Tamaya, but also we're going to install the glass at this time, and in addition we'll be putting in the lenses for the headlights and the nacelles there and the tail uh, pipes uh, the exit tips into the back of the vehicle then install the window glass using some clear glue now starting at the rear of the vehicle slide the chassis in at about a 45 degree angle and then shoehorn it in downwards until it snaps up in front and it should fit real well without even the need for any glue. Gather these parts from the kit and assemble the hood with the vent and the hinge and paint the grill flat black. And note that the copyright there script needs to be removed from the bottom pan with some sandpaper or a scraper and then paint that flat black. Assemble the front pan in place under the front fascia and then add the mirrors and the hood to the car. To further personalize the car, I printed out my logo using a color inkjet printer, cut it out, and then applied some cellophane clear glossy tape over it for a personalized license plate. Now pull out the translucent tail lights and your license tag and apply them to the back end of the vehicle. Well, there you have it. This is a great tweener kit or a slump buster for the experienced builder. A person with a couple of kits under their belt could probably build this in a day. But for the novice builder, it gives them something to expand from the snap kit and develop some habits for the glue kits. Uh, it can be a weekend project with a, a, a parent, and it turns out great when you're done. That being said, it, this is a great 2015 Corvette, uh, a new subject matter kit for the experienced modeler who could over detail this if they had an, as a desire and make it a real showstopper. But nonetheless, the chassis is pretty basic with the suspension molded in and the details are crisp uh, and highly detailed and the best way to uh, highlight those uh, details are to pick them out with the paintbrush. The interior is simple but well detailed too. The only lament there is that there are no uh, gauges for the dashboard. Uh, but adding some as we did, uh, you can really add uh, a good look and some detail to this kit by printing some items out from the internet with a ready source of images. Now the um, two-tone uh, pre-painted body uh, makes this end up looking great just about no matter what you do with it but the decals are really nice and they finish it off well. Uh, everything is tight and fits together almost perfectly. There's very little flash uh, and anything that you need to do uh, to assemble this kit. So if you're looking for a great um, chip boost design um, and you want something easy for the child, put this one together. We hope you like this premium quality step-by-step -step review and so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and also at our website.
www.rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.